Last two men to walk on the moon, Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan, part of the crew of Apollo 17. These were the last two men in one of man's greatest quests in space. We too are here to find our final two semi-finalists in our own quest to discover the smartest teams in UAE's most prestigious school quiz show, The Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2012. I am Mohan Kapoor, the quiz master who's been at the helm of things over here at the Cape Canaveral of quizzing, if you may. Okay, once again, we shall introduce our teams and then begin. Alain Junior School, please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Sachin S. Joseph of grade 10 from Alain Junior School. And you are? Hi, I'm Jitin Jose George of 10, Alain Junior School. Okay, all the very best. Our own English high school, Fujera. Once again, give your friends and family an introduction of yourself. I'm Davis of 9B of Grade Auron English High School. I'm Colin Cherian of Grade 9B of Auron English High School, Fajera. All the very best. Abu Dhabi Indian School, welcome. How are you feeling today? Amazing. Amazing? Yes. For those of you who haven't seen this top scoring team of ours, first, let's start with the introduction. You are? I am Sridhar Radhakrishnan of Class 9, Abu Dhabi Indian School. I'm Kushal Mohanoth of Grade 9, Abu Dhabi Indian School. All the very best. I'm going to go straight into our first round. As you know, our first round is Rapid Fire, brought to you by UAE Exchange. Here are the rules. Six direct questions per team. In case you are not sure about the answer, say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer. No negative points. 45 seconds to answer all questions. Are we ready? Alain Junior School? Yes. Good. We're going to begin with you. Your time starts now. The former name of which European city was Lutetia? Pass. Which English author wrote under the pen name Acton Bell? Pass. Name the oxygen carrying protein that is present in our blood. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Correct. Name the only bird that can fly straight up, down and backwards. Hummingbird. Absolutely right. The Jaravas are an indigenous tribe from which part of India? Orissa. Incorrect. Use the name of a mammal to complete the saying, like a dash in a china shop. No, pass. 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 The former name of which European city was Lutetia? Pass. Which English author wrote under the pen name Acton Bell? Pass. Time is up. Moving on to our own English high school, Fujera. Your 45 seconds for six questions in rapid fire starts now. Which African capital city was called Salisbury till April 1982? Pass. Which pen name was used by illustrator and author Georges Remy? Pass. The swelling of which gland occurs in goiter? Thyroid gland. Correct. What type of mammal is a collie? Pass. Which nomadic tribe of Eastern Africa lives in temporary houses called kraals? Masai. Correct. Use the name of a marine mammal to complete the following saying. Have a dash of a time. Pass. Which African capital city was called Salisbury till April 1982? Cape Town. Incorrect. Which pen name was used by illustrator and author Georges Remy? Pass. Pass. Which type of mammal is a collie? A dog. Correct. And time up. Abu Dhabi Indian School, 45 seconds, six questions, time starting now. Peking is the former name of which Asian capital? Beijing. Correct. Alyssa Zinovievna Rosenbaum is the real name of which author? Pass. The inflammation of which organ causes hepatitis in the human body? Liver. Correct. What type of a bird is the kakapo, a native of New Zealand, the world's only flightless nocturnal bird? Pass. Hmm. Which nomadic people from the Sahara Desert are often referred to as blue men of the desert? The Dogon. Incorrect. Use the name of a creature to complete the saying, 
The world is my dash. Boss. Boss. Elisa Zinyevna Rosenbaum is the real name of which author? Anna Karenina. Incorrect. And your time is up. I want to go into the next round. As you know, is categories. Brought to you by Lacknow. Here are the rules. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question. Five seconds to answer a past question. Elaine Junior School, we will begin with you. The six categories are up on your screen now. Colors. Colors it will be. And your question for colors. Which shade of red is named after an Italian Renaissance painter who often painted women with red hair? Magenta. Sorry? Magenta. Incorrect. It passes on to our own English high school, Fujera. Maroon. Maroon. No, that's incorrect too. Abu Dhabi Indian School. Raphael. No, nobody gets it. It's Titian. Okay, we come back to the balance five categories and give the option now to our own English high school, Fujera. Capital cities. Capital cities. Well done. Your question. At latitude 64 degrees and 08 minutes north, which is the world's most northern national capital? Moscow. Moscow is incorrect. Abu Dhabi Indian School, you want to hazard a guess? Rikshavik. Absolutely right. 10 points. Good on you. Now you get an opportunity to score 10 more points because I'm opening up the categories for you. A balance of four categories. So what would you like to choose? Islands. Islands it is. Your question. Translated in Inuit as warming island, Uartog Quegtag is the newest island to have appeared in 2006 off the coast of which territory, which has seen a lot of change in its geography in recent years? The Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory, I'm afraid, is incorrect. Elaine Junior School. Pass. Our own English Fujera. Newfoundland. I'm afraid none of you get this. And that answer is what I was looking for, was Greenland. Okay, no problem. Well done. This round comes to an end. It's time to give you all the scores. So the scores at the end of the second round are as follows. At second runner-up position, we have Elaine Junior School with 10 points. First runner-up position, our own English Fujera, 15 points. And leading the pack at the end of the second round is Abu Dhabi Indian School, 20 points to you. I'm going to now throw a weekly question to our dear friends over there. This is the Viewer's Challenge brought to you by Parley G. The question for this week. What is Tintin's profession? A. Private investigator B. Reporter C. Professor or D. Sailor SMS the correct option A, B, C or D to 6070 or log on to www.starselect.com slash star quiz and you could win a premium gift hamper worth 500 dirhams from star. Well, I request you to please stay with UAE's most prestigious school quiz show here on Star Plus, UAE's number one South Asian general entertainment channel. Thank you for being with us. They're all revved up. Now, they say there is no sound in deep space because space is a vacuum and sound needs a medium to travel. Well, it's a good thing that we can as we head into our next round. The audiovisual round brought to you by Mariaj. Here are the rules. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip followed by a question. 
a total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not answer or gets it wrong. 10 points for a correct answer. No negative marks. 5 points for a past question. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a past question. Elaine Junior School, I'm going to begin with you. Your first clue will be a visual clue. So your visual comes up on screen now. Identify this domestic animal whose most common breeds are English, French, Giant and Saturn amongst others. Is it a rabbit? Can you expand on that? Hair. Sorry? Hair, hair. I'm afraid rabbit is uh, not entirely correct. It's unacceptable. So I'm going to move this over to our own English high school, Fujera. The Angora rabbit. Absolutely right. Wow, that was precision. Our own English, well done for that one. But now comes your original one, which is a good, also going to be a visual clue. Okay, watch and then we shall ask you the question. Your question. Identify this British film producer and director famous for suspense and horror films and his name has inspired the adjective used for this genre of films. Alfred Hitchcock. What is it? Say it loudly. Alfred Hitchcock. Hitch Hitchcock. Hitchcock is right. Alfred Hitchcock. Good for you. 10 points. Abu Dhabi Indian School. You, my friends, are going to get an audio clue. Okay, hear the audio clip and then I'll come back to you. Long years ago, we made a trip with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our faith. Your question. Identify the voice of a Prime Minister. Jawaharlal Nehru. Well done. 10 points for you, my dear. Good on you. Well done, well done. He was the first man in space. He also wrote the book, Road to the Stars. His name was? Yuri Gagarin. That is correct, genius. But what I was trying to get at was, those are the kind of clues I'm going to be giving you to arrive at the correct answer for famous personalities in our next round. Starcade, brought to you by Amira Pure Basmati Rice. Here are the rules. Each team will receive three clues about a famous personality. First two clues will be read out. The third clue will be a picture clue. 15 points for a correct answer after the first clue. 10 points for a correct answer after the second clue. 5 points for a correct answer after the picture clue. No negative points. Questions will not pass in this round. 10 seconds to answer after every clue. Alain Jr. First clue. Out of the hundreds of paintings created by this painter, his most widely known work is titled The Persistence of Memory. Michelangelo? No, that's incorrect. Now I'll give you a second clue. Known for his bizarre images, there is a dedicated museum and theater in his name in his hometown in Catalonia, Spain. Vincent Vago? No. Third clue, picture clue, coming up for you on the screen now. Two, one, ah. Anybody else? Salvador Dali. Is absolutely right, Abu Dhabi Indian School. Well done, well done. Salvador Dali, okay. Our own English high school, Fujera. Your first clue. This British politician and statesman played a key role in World War II. Winston Churchill. Absolutely right, my God. Well done. You get your 15 points and we move on to now Abu Dhabi Indian School. Your first clue. Which fictional character's wife is a former Olympic diving champion and works with the United Nations? One of his ancestors worked for William Shakespeare.
Okay, moving on to clue number two. He has a white stallion named Hero, a wolf named Devil, and his mail is delivered by Fraka the Falcon. Two, one. Third clue, picture clue. Five points on the anvil, coming up on your screen now. The Phantom. Absolutely right, Phantom. Okay. Well, we have just one round left. Let's see who it's going to be. A look at the scores now. At second runner-up position, at 10 points, Elaine Junior School. At first runner-up position, score of 35, Abu Dhabi Indian School. And leading the pack for today, for now, our own English High School, Fujera, with a score of 45. So good going. As I move into a break, all I have to say is, I don't think you should go anywhere else. Stay here with us on Star Plus, the pulse of South Asians in the Middle East. Space, the final frontier. These were the words that opened every episode of one of the most popular TV series ever created, Star Trek. In our case though, the final frontier will be to find our final finalists in the last round at the buzzer, brought to you by Baby Shop. Here are the rules. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it is being read. Answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Five points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. All the very best, this is it. What is the Japanese word for single number? Something you see on almost every... You haven't let me finish, but yes, Abu Dhabi Indian. Sudoku. Absolutely right. Which geographical features on the Zambezi River is often referred to as smoke that thunders? Yes, Abu Dhabi. The Victoria Falls. Absolutely right. Where is octopus played? On ice or underwater? Underwater. Underwater is right. The rings around which planet are named Alpha, Beta, Gamma, De... Yes, Abu Dhabi Indian. Saturn. Incorrect. Which Asian port city literally means on the sea in Chinese? Hong yes, Kong? our own English, sorry. Hong Kong. Hong Kong is incorrect. Complete the name of this Gurinder Chadda directed film. Bend it like... Beckham. Beckham. Beckham is right. Well done. That brings us to the end of the third and final episode in our semi-finals. Here are the scores. At second runner-up position, Elaine Junior School still holding the fort at 10 points. Well done! <laughs> Our own English High School, Fujera, you have got a 45 points. Well done! <laughs> Abu Dhabi Indian School, you too have a score of 45 points. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2012, we have a tie between our own English high school, Fujera, and Abu Dhabi Indian School at the glorious score of 45 points each. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have to find ourselves a finalist. And that we are gonna do by playing out the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker shall be played at the buzzer and it shall be played only between our own English high school, Fujera, and Abu Dhabi Indian School. 
It's at the buzz around, so I will ask you a question. But now listen carefully. If you get the question's answer correctly, you go in to the finals. If you answer incorrectly, the other team who's not even answered goes into the finals. All right? Your question. Which color of the rainbow starts with an I? Indigo. Absolutely right. Our own English high school for Jera. Welcome to the finals of the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2012. Isn't this grand? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. UAE's most prestigious school quiz show has got its three finalists. We are going to be playing out the finals to find the ultimate quizzing team from across the United Arab Emirates. A little bit of interesting trivia, which is not really so trivial, about this glorious region. The city of Alain in Abu Dhabi lies under the Jabal Hafid, the Emirates' tallest peak at 1,340 meters. Now, seven oases surround the city of Alain, which means spring. Now, isn't that something? The journey up to the finals has been crossed. But before I leave for today, I must hand over to the winning team members these shopping vouchers from Baby Shop worth 500 dirhams. A big congratulations to them. I'm going to be seeing them next Saturday at 8.30 p.m. because we are going to play out the finals for the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2012. So be here on Star Plus, the world's leading South Asian general entertainment channel. And good night.